kindness is a virtue that, I mean, we talk about it a lot, but it's, to me, it's something that I think every human being kind of a stri- would strive to being kind. Or we have that natural goodness to want to do that. But sometimes we get caught up in our everyday life and hurrying us and doing things maybe a quicker way than a kind way. You see puppets behind me. My kids do a lot of, sometimes they're not able to put their feelings or what's happening in their situation into words, but they can use puppets or they can use the dollhouse or sand or any of those things. And so then I am able to model lots of things like, oh my gosh, that Mr. Rabbit was really just in trouble. I wonder what we could do to help him. And we try to stay in character with the puppets and we learn a lot through play because I believe that play is a child's language. So I probably do more teaching here than, than maybe a classroom teacher has a chance to do. I don't think kindness is something that, yes, we have to teach it, but I think we model it and we have that opportunity every day. And if, if I could send a message to everybody, it's, is we all learn from each other, but particularly children watch everything we do. And so if we're at the grocery store and we hold the door open for somebody, or if we get a can of soda and leave a uh, 25 cents in, in the little slot or anything like that, we can show children or show people every day that kindness is something that we want to share. I know you can find data for anything, but there's research now that's saying if we were to interview kids, that kids who feel like they're kind or have practiced kindness or know that value, they tend to do better in school, they tend to feel better about themselves, they tend to be less of a bully and feel like they're bullied less. We all want to be in a community and we want to be connected. And by talking about some of those virtues and values, I believe that gives an opportunity for children to see it in their parents and in their grandparents. Um, The holidays are coming up. That's a perfect time to sit around the table and go, you know, when can you remember a time that somebody was kind to you? Or do you, if you were to list three people that you would put in your kindness basket, who would they be? And then kids start to think about it. Plus they see, oh gosh, grandma and grandpa have three people. Or they remember something way back when somebody was kind to them. And I think if we could back up and go back to those values of kindness and being connected and a sense of community, we would be in a better spot. And our kids might not be so rushed, so anxious, so feeling like they need to perform. So kindness is something we don't have to buy. We, we, we don't have to get at the store. It's in our hearts and, and we can pass it on and, and we'll, we'll build a better community.